Hey guys, we're gonna see if we can get this old Bronco up running and driving, and we're gonna take a 400 mile trip in it to the Bronco Stampede, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Watch us. Where we at, the old backwoods, of old Mexico? Why, Alan, you don't even remember the color of it, so how do you know what model it was? Because I uh, tell the body shape. <laughs> <laughs> difference between color blind and body shape blind, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm done hooking the chain. Y'all start moving. Is that how you want to do that? Now I'm going to do that. At least until we go back. There's that run get that lime over here. Oh, you don't think anything got brakes? Oh, got it. I don't know, but look at them back brakes. Ain't got none. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're pulling the rear end out from other than Bronco too, huh? The tire's flat when it up first. No. Ready to go. Flat. No, it ain't. Okay, you want me to do the Yes, I climb in this thing. I bought it. Are you insured? Huh? Are you insured? Nope. You need a new truck, Alan? <laughs> I said, you need a new truck? Do you need... Uh -huh. Well, he said he wasn't insured, though. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dragging it around front to get started on it. Why you moving? They won't. They won't mess with you while you're moving. Quilly <coughs> Allen. Uh -huh. The only sting if you're sitting still ain't doing nothing. Sound like you're spraying it with something. I thought it was a brake cleaner. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> yeah. Come with its own can of brake cleaner. Back there goes Good. That's where he needs to go. I don't want to stone. All right, right. Go ahead. Four-wheel driving. Look at that. Your front drive shaft's turning, and so is your rear one. Hey, do we get to keep the custom exhaust? I think that's good, Paul. Good. That's good, Paul. That's good. You just go. That's good. I don't know who gets changed. He can come around. Hurry. I don't know who gets changed. He can come around. Change, Hold up, Alan. He's getting it. Bring her around the front. Start to jump, I'm telling you, it looks like it don't. I'm gonna leave the wind up because the air's on. Y'all need me hollering. <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Hey, we got a vacuum gauge. Hey, our boy can't hook a chain. Hard. Chain hooking 101. Ready? 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 Ready?
Power steering. Takes that power to steer it. <laughs> we'll catch him around front. We hopped in a faster car and got here before y'all did. There she is. Come with an unwanted gift. And I bumped into you, man. My game, all of them. I'm hoping to scare him a little bit before I swat him. Karate chopping that big red wall. He's doing that Judy chop. You need. You need to go back to Judy Chop class. <laughs> no, oh, we found the fuel pump <laughs> switch to it. It's starting to fill. I can hear it filling the bowl. Probably don't even have to give it a skosh, but I'm going to give her a skosh anyway. Whew. I poured it all over it just like it needs. <laughs> See what it does? Listen to that. Like it's been cranking every day. It's got gas in the car better now. Hold it out. Ho, ho, shut it off. Shut it off. We got Old Faithful. Old Faithful. She's a geyser. Shoot fire. We need to turn the pump off. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to get something hard. And tap on the carburetor. Tap on the carburetor. Yeah. Joe Bob lived a pressure, a pre, a privileged life. He's never had to deal with junk like we have. Oh my lord! I don't need to beat off a truck. I just need it tapped on. He went and got a pickle fork. He doing ball joints. You just tap right there, about about right there, because that's the needle seat. See that? I get in there and try to crank. Don't pat it. Kind of just hold her about half throttle, because yeah. it may be loaded up with gas and cylinders now. It need to clean out.
We're gonna try it again. We couldn't get to move a while ago. So Joey gonna see if it'll crank again. Which I feel pretty sure it will. It cranked once already cranking. Oh, oh, oh. Keep it running. Is your fuel pump on? Yeah, it is. Cause, right, clean the cylinders out, like I said. Yeah. Try that. Are you still in gear? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, clean 
Alright, we got Steve. What's that, Drake? For the what? It's fuel tank for the Bronco. Brand new fuel tank for the Bronco. And Look at that. We're hoping it's right. That is brand new. And I got under the truck just kind of get an idea. Look at this nice guinea wall. Jason may not need to be in this low, but look right up there. Let me get the camera. I haven't seen it in yet. Oh, there it is. I see it now. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to see if I can get this vlog. Well, we're going to just, not for my safety, but for the fans, we're going to step back in case you take off running. I see them dropping. Like a Whoa, that didn't drop like a fly. <laughs> That's still flying. He's going to circle around and come in from the back. <laughs> Sure ain't, is it? <laughs> what you laughing at over there? <laughs> anyway, we're going to kill some walls. Oh, there's a gas tank filled. 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 Oh, there's a gas tank Poor little walks when they nail you in the back. Let's see how many more we can find up under there. Give you a little inside view of this little nugget here. Uh, let me make sure I ain't please get stung. You can see they started mudding with it already. It looks like they left the doors open when they did it or something. The ash is covered up. But we gotta get all that cleaned up, fixed up. Ain't got no windows in. Ah. Mm. You didn't know what you was biting off, did you? Ah, couldn't be worse than getting that uh, wagon ready to drive anywhere. Good <laughs> well, thing. All I had to do was get it ready was wash it. Maybe we just need to wash this one. <laughs> That's a good looking gas tank, oh. Yeah, it is. I wish that sun had gone down a little bit. I just wonder if it's too <sighs> red. I don't know what a 78 Bronco tank looks like. Well, you know, if, I, if somebody just asked me, I'd have figured it looked just like a gas tank on the truck. Is what I'd have figured. You know, right up under the frame yeah, rail. This one out here to go look at. Oh, this one ain't even got a gas tank in it, has it? No, I still can't tell you what it looks like. Do we want to show them the donor truck yet? Hold on just a second. We might show you the donor truck. The two huh. slightly used Broncos we got, we got good enough parts to drive 400 miles. I know what they're thinking. They're thinking. Wait a minute, that's the parts truck? <laughs> yeah, just from first glance, the parts truck does look better than the fixer truck. Watch for more wall's nest. Now you see why this is the parts truck. Oop, that grass out of the way. That just ruined the video, didn't it? But look at that interior. Look at that dash. Look at them seats. Look at that, look at the door panels. Yeah, we hope we two of these wore out Broncos we got. We could probably drive this in 400 miles, but it might break in half. Yeah. <laughs> Our foot might fall through the floorboard. <coughs> no telling what might happen. Oh, no, it's ready. It's steady. Look at that. Good to go. It's like brand new money. Oh. And done stirred up another yeah. wall's nest. We found them. <laughs> oh, anyway. It's going to be the fun thing about working on these two. I'm here to tell you. We'll be killing walls for days. But that's the plan. Parts off this one. Put on that one. Drive four hours. 200 miles. Well, round trip. Uphill both ways. Round trip, we shoot 400 miles. We yeah, round trip, that. be round trip, eight hours, 400 miles. So, anyway, that's the plan. All right, we about to start <laughs> taking the seats out. See if we can get them out of the way. We got some a couple floor pans coming. This one's not bad, but it's got a few little spots, and we'll get, get all that out of the way and have good. Need a nine sixteenth socket. 
before we put that uh, good interior in. We don't want to put the good interior in and then have to turn around and pull it right back out just to put the floor pans in later. See like the little spots right here, up through here. We won't go ahead and fix that. So all that'll be good. All right, we got this. Uh, well, that's a high dollar, high dollar fuel cell, you know? Yeah. Fuel cell worth more than uh, seats. Okay, not say more than Bronco. We're going to pull this fuel cell out. Like I said, we won't put the factory tank back in it and get this fuel pump off. See, it's got a, it looks kind of like a Holly Red, the cheap version of it. Get this old fuel pump out and get the factory back all in. All of them, but one bolt's going to come out. Uh, you know what? I'm surprised one didn't come out and the rest was being aggravated. Right, right. We're going to start pulling this stuff out and getting the insides empty. Okay, we got one seat loose. Drake's. I'm here to tell you, just take two seats out. It's been a sticky job, man. And that one bolt's still over there. And guess what? This ain't even the rusty one. Uh, yeah, for real. <laughs> I'll take care of the back seat over Drake. You don't worry about it. <laughs> well, we're going to get these seats out. You ready to turn back yet? Sure. I'm, uh. Did I say we were shooting for August 17th, 2024? Oh, you meant the Bronco show next year, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Too late now. Bronco stampede, buddy. Two weeks away. Okay, we have got this bad boy gutted. Drake's doing a little fine vacuuming. Hope our floor pans are here pretty soon so we can measure them out. Cleaning my brand new transmission. Brand new train. Look at that train. That's got a C6 road all over. But uh, hopefully our floor pans will be here tomorrow. We can start cutting, measuring, getting them bad boys welded in. Then it'll be all downhill. All right, if you noticed on the floor pans of the Bronco towards the back section, we needed some, what'd you call it, ribbles? I'd call it ribbed. Ribbed part. It looks a lot like a bed. So we're gonna cut out of this old F-250 bed and we think right there will make our curved part and then there'll be our flat part and we can line it up to make it look like the factory floor pan still. Cause you can't buy, I don't reckon nobody's re-popping that part. Jim. Yeah, that's all. I guess they figure everybody just uses straight metal and most of them probably don't put the rib back in it. We gonna try, I ain't gonna say we are going to, but we are gonna try. While he's a cut, we're gonna walk down here. This is parts Bronco number two, or would this be three? It's number three Bronco, two of them for parts. This one right here, we gotta see about getting the gas tank straps out of it. That's gonna be fun. It should have straps we need. Fray the blue one, they're gonna be way, way rusty in. So we're gonna to try to pull the straps out from under this one to go in the, in the other one. So that's the plan anyway. Of course, this one's pretty rusty too, but the underside don't be, seem to be like the blue one is. Let's go see what kind of look he's having. Alright, 
try to line these outside ones up, which do pretty good, the outside ribs. And then, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my bed floor. I'm going to cut six inches out to run up here. And that way that my ribs line up and match, I'm going to use both rib pieces out of the F-250 bed floor. Because these don't hardly line up, I think. They, like I said, the very end ones line up real nice. So that's good. And then I'll make a flat piece, obviously, from here over into this rounded corner because there is no ribs over here or over there in that corner. And then it's flat from here out. So and that's the reason why I'm using just the rib piece on here. And then I'll end up making flat pieces for everywhere else. But right now, I'm going to take the camera back to the back of the Bronco where I'm going to cut out 6 inches, about 48 inches long of this rear piece. Fitting in the right. test panel. We fix start marking it. So we can start cutting. I think it hasn't been in the mud a time or two. We'll get the vacuum in here and vacuum all that up and uh, start getting the metal prep to weld the new floor pan in. Test, test fit our template here and then when we get it fitting we'll grind all this and clean it up and paint it like we did the back part back here but right now we're just trying to get it fit in there where it'll fit where it fits right before we go and then we'll get all that cleaned up and welded in look at that look at that like butter all right got this patch made welded in this is the piece we cut out all right here we are the last hole this is the how many holes in golf is there 18 yeah yeah we're on the 18th hole getting the primer sprayed on it on the bare metal let it dry and then we can fit our pan in and start welding the final one we've got the passenger side all the little patch panels, the back one, almost there. Okay, everybody, it's like 5.30 on a Sunday morning. We've got six days to get this thing finished. Start to weld on the last floor pan, and then we got to get the wiring and the AC heater box back in it the dash we've got to grind all this uh get it painted get the sides and the post and stuff painted six days and this baby's supposed to be headed north to the mountains so let's get back at it well here it is about dark 30. we got the body off the frame pressure washing uh, engine transmission in the frame This is Sunday evening before we leave out. It'll be Saturday's when we're supposed to be gone. 
This is Sunday about 8 o'clock and we got the body off the frame. Oh, and I think we run out of gas. Can you see what you're doing? No. It's amazing how much more this phone makes it look way brighter than it actually is out here. Like, you can see that transmission good in this phone, and you look at it over the phone, you can't hardly make nothing out about it. Away we go. Well, well he fills the pressure washer back up. I'm going to find the lights. So maybe I can shine a little light on the situation. Okay, Drake, we're... Let's four see, hours. today is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday, so four, four, eleven. So four to four, that's 12. So four days and 12 hours. Yep. We got and it's sitting, it it's sitting on its new chassis. Narrowed rear end. I don't know what you call that front, front end. <laughs> we, we getting at it. Brand new. Real cool. Seam suiting all the wheels up ground down. Cool. Making it look like new money. Oh, these were the ugly Ford blue, wouldn't they? What? These were their ugly Ford blue, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, dark. Yeah, they had gray valve covers, huh? Get it? It had a gray oil pan one time, too. And I started painting gray, but... Reckon somebody put a reman motor in this thing or something? I don't know. It one sure time? was a clean motor. That's prob possibly what it was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm <laughs> Getting the motor painted up. Getting frame cleaned up, painted. Okay, four pans are welded in, grounded, seam sealed, and four fifteen. We're going to get ready to mix blue spray on the post and the kick panels down there. That way, we can start getting the dash back in. We gotta get the back cleaned out. Get it four fifteen. I'm just glad all the four pans was good in it. If you see how this turned out right here, turned out real nice. All right, we got our blue. Yeah, show them in the dark. You show them in the dark where it looks better. Yeah. I'm showing them in the dark, that way they can see we're here till like 1030. <laughs> uh, it's eight, what, eight o'clock anyway. Somewhere in there. What? You can see it's blue. Pans are done. Ready to start going back in with a dash. It's coming along. All right, Daddy broke out the paint gun. Got the firewall painted. And we went ahead and painted underneath. And I tell you, I sure do like it. Okay, we got the frame coming together here. Got the new gas tank in. Got the fuel line run. Got the uh, transmission painted, transfer case painted, motor painted. Getting the brackets going back on. Uh, I think he's ready to mount the AC. Uh, got the new distributor in it. Got the coal painted over there, ready to go on it. Uh, it's coming back together. <laughs> what did I tell you, Jason? No What's that? What did I tell you? What did you tell me? About that exhaust. Oh. <laughs> Jason said, when he gets done with that exhaust, he's going to say, boy, I wish I just took it to the muffler shop, took them two mufflers. I said, no, nah, he's too much like us. He's going to go, boy, that looks good. After I built it out all that scrap, he said, I don't know, his knee's hurting pretty bad over there. 
Deep what? He said, I don't know. Your knee's hurting pretty bad oh, over man. there. I like to cry when I got up that one time. It hurt so bad. But you said the exact words I said you'd say. I, I'd read. I know him like a book. I wonder what them muffins came off of. Whatever they come off of, they both run them the same side. They I ain't what was on my Mustang, or Lightning. It ain't on them, it was the two together, like, where the pipes come together. Uh -huh. That's the ones you got off Alan. Oh, okay. He got off something and you bought it from. Oh, okay. Sitting right up there? Yeah, by chance over. Yeah, he took them off the Shirley truck or something. Oh, all right. If you can jack that under, we can go a little further back before we do. I don't know if that bolt in there. That was one I scraped up on. Living a dream, what are you talking about? Hey. We hit we hit uh twenty bucks a day will be. Alright. That's got the body sitting on. It's uh eight thirty on Wednesday night. We got uh tomorrow night, Friday night, and it's gotta go Saturday morning. That's got the body on. So We'll get it out, start working on the wire. What are you doing? Fixing this wiring harness. You not realize we gotta leave Saturday morning and you've got every bit of the wiring out of this truck. I know that's stupid, ain't it? Yeah. They had cut this because of a bad safety neutral switch. And so me and Edward traced it down and we're fixing it back like it's supposed to be from the factory. Except we can't get a safety neutral switch for days, so it's gonna go to pigeon forge without one. Ooh. Well, you need to hurry up and get that spaghetti looking mess in this truck so I got something to drive. I can't be made out like we can't get it done. We gotta be able to get this done. Here we, we got are. All the chicken in this pot, that's all I can take. <laughs> here it is Thursday morning like I said we're going to leave this Saturday we set the frame and the cab back together last night about 9 o'clock there's the dash and all we still got to put all the dash in and all the interior and the top on but, uh, it looks good I don't know if I can show you well this is a little too dark but it looks good under there. It looks good under the hood. Maybe if we get somebody to look past the outside and actually look at the truck, they may appreciate it. Jason, over here, this side didn't have a door glass and the vent glass was pretty bad shape. Jason's doing that on the right side. I gotta go hit him on the head. Yeah, what? I gotta go hit him on the head. Dash is going in. Yeah, no thanks to Jason. He just does that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen at him, Philip. I think he throwed that in there for you, Philip. <laughs> 
Hey, I, I put a window in. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we got a top on the other one. But that's going to be the last thing to go on. That way, if we have to take off of that, we can just ride top of us. It's a whole lot cooler than that top. Yeah, top off right That lets a, little, a lot of air through. So yeah, Alan has to get in his working under the dash position. <laughs> I tell you what, that's a rough job right there getting under the dash. Yeah, I got a back seat. First attempt to firing it up, but hopefully this is the first fire up. We think the cool was bad, so we changed it. I know the cool was bad because I cleaned it up and painted it. This barbecue sauce right here. Yeah, some that barbecue sauce. Uh, somebody's closed my bottle off. That's safe. Okay. Alright. Here it is, a little after 10 o'clock, Friday morning. The dash is completed. Staring column in. Things on, boy, is it nice! Beautiful, beautiful. Well, we finally got it running a cool and a fuel pump later. I don't know what he thinks he's doing. He ain't got his new balance on, so I know he ain't adjusting no carburetor. There it is, one step closer. Brand new 1978 Bronco. Nobody can't say we ain't dedicated to make our deadline. Here it is pouring down rain after six o'clock, thunder and lightning, Friday evening. Trying to take some front end parts off of the parts truck because we found out that the ones on our truck is bent and wore out. Like I said, never drove this truck to mount anything other than in the, you know, around the parking lot here. So we didn't know. We got it, drove down the road, front end's terrible. So here we are, hoping we might can fix that. I'm changing the rear end in here in the dry, making daddy work out there in the rain. Here we are, 940. Friday night, still trying. Al Cisco showed back up to help us. He got the wheels off Jason's truck. Um, went to O'Reilly's to get the gear joint. And I'm here to tell you, they stunk. <laughs> they got no care, no wants to help you. And don't even try. So I went next door to Advance, young boy there very helpful we got the u-joint i needed got back got the u-joint in but then we don't have u-bolts every rear end we got nine inch rear end has an inch and about three eighths wide u-bolt and we needed an inch and a half u-bolt and i finally i think i've robbed one i've robbed peter i had to pay him back but uh let's see if we can't get it in Five minutes to 12. Is it really? Just put the windshield in. Craig, you trying to take the windshield I just put in out? Honestly, I'm trying to get this little chrome doodad back in there. We don't need no chrome doodads. We got the windshield. I gotta be bedazzled. Leave in just a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If it's midnight. Yeah, it's five till. Yeah. <laughs> if I didn't have to sleep with a breathing machine, I'd just lay it in the You think you'd make it without these things for yeah. this trip? Yeah, they may coming out. They may have to live without them. Yeah, they may coming out there. They're just fancy. Windshield is in. What next? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jason's truck ain't never done that. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. Boy, look at that windshield now. You still look awful. Looks clean from here. <laughs> well, now I can see the driver's side a little smeared a little. Oh, how's the mirror look? Ford in them in perfect alignment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can hear the people now. Did they just screw that plate? <laughs> Why, yes, yes, we did. <laughs> One is four something on the Saturday morning. Mount the license plate the best way you can, ain't that right? That's right. <laughs> well, here it is, five o'clock Saturday morning. Did we make it? Well, we made it. But we made it. It's ready to go. We hope. It's almost point that direction. <laughs> now, for journey number two <laughs> of this venture, can we make it four hours, two hundred miles? Yeah. Well, that's we're going to try. so good we've made it to the huddle house gonna grab a bite to eat before we hit the big road she's running running a little rich not one dial too good but she's running we've made it how far is this from the shop 25 miles about 30 minutes 40 yes. miles 30. to the huddle house yeah. alan he just can't go nowhere without eating breakfast <laughs> <laughs> I'm just itching to go. You want to see? Been working on that 50 years, like sure. We're ready to be in Trenton. We are being Trenton, but no, we got to stop in Fort Payne. Well, I'm ordered for drive through for so having to climb in and out. <laughs> <laughs> Straight didn't want to get biscuit on the carpet. <laughs> nope. I spilled Dr. Pepper on it last night, I'm not saying. <laughs> There's the screwdriver, Alan, so we can work on that carburetor there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was a reenactment performed by Alan Weaver. <laughs> Carburetor was running a little rich, so we choked it out, think it flushed out a piece of trash, then it was out of time. Kind of dragging when you go to crank it, so we lowered the time just a little. But uh, yeah, we missed all that. <laughs> Drake's fault, he reminded us after. I told y'all. Shorts on in the grill. He <laughs> ran a Corvette. Sketchers. Sketchers are for island carburetor on Broncos, ain't they? That Alan. What are we fixing to do? Hit the road again. Hit the road again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, he's just crazy as us. He come back for a second dose. <laughs>
wasn't too long of a delay. So here we are, 75 North. Headed that way. Alright, we're up here about Cleveland. Glad we're not going southbound right now. Old truck still running good. Still stuck on that 69.
thing flipped pretty good. A little carburetor troubles. Drake's arm's got to work out from the steering. It's a, uh, it's a uh, different. We'll say that. It's got a little, a little play. A little play and a little tight spot, but other than that. But here we are, roll fixing roll into the Lacante Center to the show. Okay, we're here at the Sunliner Diner. Me and Drake's gonna do the Ooh. what's it called? What's it called? The, the jukebox. jukebox Burger Challenge. We're gonna go in here and see if we can do it. We'll show y'all what it is. Hey, me and Drake ordered the jukebox, the challenge. A stack of three grilled burger patties, top of American, Swiss, cheddar, bacon, fried green tomatoes, onion ring, fried egg, fried pickles, drizzled with their Creole holidays or butter brisco bun. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna see if we can do it. We don't get it free, or if we do eat it, we should get it free and get a cool T-shirt and a name on their wall. But oh well, we're gonna try it anyway. Let's see what happens. What you got there, Drake? Something else from TikTok shop. Oh, is that TikTok shop? Oh, no. No, that's a big old burger. Oh, we got two of them. It's a challenge, you said. Oh, it's, it's a Sunliner sun Diner challenge. We're going to see if we can beat it. They say we get a surprise. Oh, let's beat it so we get a surprise. I want to see what the surprise is. All right, check it out. It's got three patties, uh, like fried egg, an onion ring, a fried green tomato, a whole lot of stuff. Stay tuned. Thank you. All right, Drake, how are you making it? I'm breaking out my sweat. My stomach's about to pop. Have you ate any? No, I've ate some, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. Are you down it. to one patty? One patty. Down to one patty. Try to get tomatoes in the middle of it. That makes a little difference. Okay. Makes you get a second win. I ain't into tomato. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Drake. I did it. I took one for the team. Y'all gonna have to tow me to the car. <laughs> Roll me in the back of the Bronco. I wanna see you climb up in there. Y'all gonna be rolling me in the back of it. Well, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. It's finished. I couldn't do it. <sighs> you probably get a ha ha for it. <laughs> hey Drake, was that burger too much? Was that? Oh no, you just blowing your nose. <laughs> oh. Drake didn't finish the burger, but guess no. who did? And look what I got. All he got was an upset stomach. I got a button that says, I finished the Jew Box Burger Challenge. All right, we're out here in the parking lot of the Glicante Center where the Bronco shows at. And look at all the Bronco new ones in the parking lot. Hey, look at there. Oh, 80 mile with a top off. 89 or so. We're just cruising around, letting everybody take a look at it. Stampede. 
Broncos outside, but we're here. We made it, Alan. <laughs> hey, we made it. I'm still Time to hit the road again. <laughs> we're going to walk around look at some Broncos. See what we can see. Well, All right, fellas. The Bronco made it. We made it. I never... 6.30 yesterday when I took off out the driveway to test drive it around the block. I never dreamed we'd be running 80 mile an hour down the interstate at 7 o'clock next morning. From a mud racing toy to a refined transportation mode. Fine piece of machinery. Okay, so we took three old ones to Atlanta. A Bronco four hours away to the Bronco Stampede. What's next? Watch Bronco, Bronco come. There for Before we get stampeded by it. Oh, what's next? <laughs> so what's next? Right now I get some rest. Well, <sighs> Start thinking of the next one. Yeah. Next we gotta do Rod Run. We got to. Yeah. We got to have that. Rod Run 25, 24, 24. <laughs> we, ain't forget, make it, we ain't making no YouTube. I forget what year it is. Get ready for the Rod Run. What, that $15? <laughs> we should be up to 17 by the end of the day. <laughs> Here it is, 2024 fall Bronco Stampede. Show was a little bit of a letdown, but she made it. She is here, 70, 78, one time 81, wasn't it? Yeah, one time 81. Miles per hour all the way up here. Tires got a little dirty. It was nice and shiny before we left. But Interstate dust. Interstate dust, that's right. But we are here, it made it. A uh, little bit of carburetor problems. That's the only thing we really had, wasn't it? It's a little trash. Stirring's a little tricky, but but other than that, some carburetor problems, it done good. Well, they waiting on us. Guess we better climb in. Yep. Time, to go get some <laughs> Time to go get something to chow on. Well, check it out. While we was in the show by Linda and her Bronco named Destroyer, I hope this made your day. You've been bucked. <laughs> Well, it did make our day. So, it, yeah, it did make our day. Hey, we come all the way to Pigeon Forge, and all we got was this, uh, we've been booked. <laughs> there it is, Bronco Stampede. 